okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video after some long time so in this video uh, we are going to see about um, uh, json table uh, which is a uh, inbuilt uh, db2 uh, function available uh, in our ibmi now s400 which will actually parse the json object and give you the result in form of no uh, relational table so uh, first what we are going to do uh, we will uh, store the json uh, data into a variable and then uh, we will try to parse that and at the end of the video we will see uh, how do we take the values i mean the json as a data from a table and then uh, parse the same using the json table function so i have taken some notes here just for quick reference so first what we are going to do uh, i am going to use uh, the acs uh, no uh, run sql uh, gui okay uh, yeah, it, because it will be, uh, we can see the result directly here and there will not be any uh, CCAD issue and so on. So what we are going to do first is, uh, we are going to do a create variable and uh, some variable name. I have named it as uh, json underscore var and uh, it is going to be uh, like 2000 character, okay, just a placeholder. Then we are going to uh, use this object, okay, json object and put that into the, into the variable. Then we are going to... <clears throat> sorry use this json where uh, and parse the data okay so let's uh, i have already created this variable now what i will do i'll take this thing and uh, yeah i'll put it here so basically we're gonna put this json data into the variable called json where and uh, it should be surrounded with the single quotes okay so let's control a control r okay so you can see now the variable is containing the value so if you want to uh, see the result right we can use values json underscore var then you will be able to see the data okay here so now as we said we want to use json table uh, as a, a function uh, which is going to take this data as argument and then we'll use some uh, syntax to parse the data so first is very simple like uh, let's see how do we get this id 901 okay so i'm going to do uh, directly code it so uh, it's going to be select star from json underscore table so this function basically it's a function the first argument to the function is actually the json data so in our case json underscore var because our data is contained inside the variable json var comma next is something called row path okay so generally um, the path is referred here as a uh, dollar sign okay this dollar sign represents we are uh, representing the whole json as a dollar sign okay so it is a syntax then uh, we need to have something like columns it's actually another function okay so these columns are actually going to be the result of our uh, query so inside the columns i want to say i i want to have only one column called id and this is going to be var care of 10 you can give whatever you want then I need to have the syntax as path. So I need to tell uh, how I can find the value for the ID, okay, inside the JSON. Now you can see ID is actually the key uh, which comes under the root itself, okay. Like say for example, if the first is actually uh, inside the name uh, object, but ID is actually inside the root itself. So here we are representing the whole uh, JSON as a a dollar right so here what i can say my path is going to be dollar dot id okay uh, so here as t so just to finish the syntax control a control r now you will see that uh, we got the result 901 now let's try to see uh, I, I want to get the first and last name okay uh, basically uh, dollar dot name will be the object and i want to access first and last which means it's going to be dollar dot name dot first and dot last okay so what i'm going to do this is my one column okay you can see this is my one column and if you want to have multiple column basically i can put a comma here and then start typing it so next i want like a name or first name okay first name so this is totally your column name you can give whatever you want okay followed with the column name you will give what is the type so var care of 20 space then the syntax is path then under the single quotes we need to give the path how to find it so it's going to be dollar dot 
uh, name dot first okay so if I copy the whole thing control C and I'll put here comma control V then here I'll say last name last name it can be same by of 20 no problem and it's going to be dollar dot name dot uh, last so if you see control A control R we should be able to see the ID name uh, first name and last name so here what we are seeing here actually uh, this is uh, I said it's our uh, own column name then the declaration then the path uh, to find the value for that particular column now let's see what if if I have uh, no nested you know thing so before that uh, if you select the whole thing and then uh, I think this one format selected it will be formatted okay simply fine now uh, let's see if I have nested uh, data so here basically for this ID uh, then it belongs to the name uh, John Doe uh, but he has two uh, phones one is the, the work phone another one is actually the home phone so how do we get uh, know this data in the form of relational database so what we are going to do uh, in in my thing those are still columns okay but it's a nested columns so we have a uh, yeah, syntax here so let me do this one so this is one column and uh, this is my second column this is my third column just I'm aligning a bit so that it makes sense okay so now here comma I am gonna use a keyboard called nested okay and I say after nested I am gonna give again the path uh, here the path is phones okay but the point is phones is not a single object it's an array of objects so which means under the single quotes dollar dot phones okay and it's going to be an array so I can put a square bracket star okay and then I'm going to use the keyword columns again so what I'm telling I'm going to split this array into columns okay and this is the same as uh, you know these columns okay it can be a function and here I can def start defining the uh, uh, individual columns of the phones so here I have two columns type and number okay so I am saying like something like there are two ways we can do it uh, if you want the same column name uh, to be the I mean the same field name to be column then we can use a uh, double double quotes type okay then where care of uh, 10 then what it will do inside this uh, phones array if it is anything matching with the types it will directly take that value and create a column with the same name type okay uh, so let's see what happens if you just select this one and run it so you can see the type came as home and work because we have two types so if you want this number also uh, what we can do comma copy this thing paste and I can see it say number so now it will try to look uh, the number as a key and what are the value it finds it will create a column called number and then put it but what if I want to give a different column name okay so basically here phone type okay and uh, let me remove this one and it's going to be var care here the same syntax I need to give a path and some path name I'll come to that path name later now okay now this also it can be a uh, phone number and we don't want this double quotes it's going to be var care and we need to give a path now if it is a nested right so what happens whatever we give here is called the row path so the whole thing what we have given here can be represented here as dollar okay now dollar means dollar dot phones array okay now inside that array we are looking for type so I'm type dot type okay here I'll say dollar dot number so now what will happen the values of type and number will be assigned to a column phone number and phone uh, phone type and phone number okay so if you run it you will see that um, now the column name is phone type and phone number and the values are taken accordingly okay now let's go to the next step what to do if I want to get even the account number as well okay so now here you can see uh, account number is not inside the phones array basically but accounts actually inside the uh, root itself so what we are trying to do here we are creating uh, so we don't want to create the uh, nested column inside this nested column instead of that we need to create a nested column inside the this nested column okay so if it's confusing uh, you will understand while I'm typing okay so this comma represents the end of this nested then here I will say again nested 
and uh, a path is basically the row path and i'll say columns like this right so here where is what is my row path so for accounts it's going to be dollar dot accounts right so it's very simple so dollar dot account yes but the point is this is the array and uh, i'm selecting all the values in this array and here is, we have only one key value pair number so we can say that uh, uh, account uh, number can be a var care of 10 path is going to be now as you guessed here dollar represents dollar dot account star dot we are finding number i think that's it so if we just uh, control a control r now you can see we got the result under the account number column so this is primarily the way we can parse using the json table still there are many um, uh, extra things uh, which maybe i'll try to cover in a separate video uh, to finish this video let's see how can we take the data from a table okay and then use this so for that what we are going to do basically we're going to create a table okay um, create table some name let's say emp okay and then it's going to be uh, you know where okay so it will have a column let's say json uh, doc where care of 2000 so what this will just create a table called emp with one column the column name is json doc which is basically a uh, character field uh, and uh, we'll give uh, 1208 this represents character right ccad okay let me get the same syntax right okay yeah so i have a <laughs> notes okay so we are going to create a table called emp with one column called json doc it's going to be back care of uh, some length whatever you want to to hold the json object and then we say ccad is equal to 108 so that it supports unique unicode and so on if you run it right so basically it will create a table okay it got created you can see it's created okay but it is not general that's okay now we need to insert some result okay insert json basically so let me take this thing so i'll say that insert into emp values so value is going to be the json object itself okay uh, let me insert this one first so it got inserted then maybe i'll change the name to something okay now we have inserted two json object in into the table itself now to view it uh, select star from uh, emp then you should be able to see the result here okay now how do you parse this data and then get the result in a table column uh, so what we are going to do we will do the same thing select star from emp comma json table of so here i'm gonna pass the column which is the json doc okay which is there in the emp table so emp dot json doc this is my first argument for the json table function second as you guessed going to be dollar okay then columns is the function inside the columns i'll say I, I, I want to have two columns right one is the name so i'll say name which can be the type where care of uh, 20 i'm just giving then path is going to be dollar dot name okay this is my one column second is actually uh, salary which will be where care of for uh, for a simple city i'm giving everything where care okay uh, 10 and path of dollar dot salary now uh, i'm gonna say here as t if you do uh, run we get three results here so because we give a star here so it displays the json doc as one column and then the result of the json uh, table coming as a second two column so if you want to filter only the name and uh, salary i can say here uh, t dot uh, name comma t dot salary because the whole statement we are making it as uh, no t so i can give uh, t dot name t dot salary so control a control r now we should be able to see the result okay so this is some uh, the quick introduction which i wanted to cover as part of this video so i hope uh, if you have not uh, come across this json table uh, you have read about it but have not seen how it works so this is the introduction video for you so maybe i can try to see some more stuff on this json table uh, one such thing what i have seen is like actually calling uh, http get method using our uh, sql uh, procedure itself okay basically we have the http get globe method okay which is actually a sql function uh, which accepts a url and it makes http get request 
and uh, can return you the JSON the result. So I have seen one example that uh, they have uh, used that HTTP get globe method and the result they are passing it to a JSON table and uh, they are getting the output in, ter in, in term of you now uh, relational view which is a table view. So that was a good example actually. Maybe uh, I can try that in my next video as well. So yeah, so that's it uh, for this video. Hope you would have liked it, and I'll try to put more videos uh, if possible because you know the situation is not so good all over the world. So hopefully you guys will be working from home mostly. So I wish you uh, you know for a better safety. So stay safe. Um, at the same time, make use of this opportunity if you can <laughs> learn something from home. So that's it for for uh, now. This uh, till now. Maybe I'll meet you in a different video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.